Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to be doing my makeup today only using 10 products. I know. But it's possible. I'm going to try to do a beat using 10 products. My brushes are not included in the 10 products. But clearly, literally, only have... One, two, three, four brushes that I'm gonna be using. So that's not even a lot considering how much brushes you probably use to do a full face anyway. And I am gonna be using my sponge. I love a sponge. <laughs> Excuse the sounds if you hear because my daughter girl had my grandbabies. <laughs> my grandbabies. And they are kind of like making noise in the back. So you might hear them crying or just being lovable. I love cats, y'all. But, yeah, if you hear anything in the back, it's them. FYI. So, to start off, I'm going to share, also, I already cleaned my face. I'm going to share with you guys my skin regimen and what I use to clean my face every single day. Some days I don't use one or the other. I might switch it out. Not every time I use both products at the same time. But I'm gonna start off by showing y'all with the with what I use. My skin is not the best. My skin is not the best. I have some dark spots and I'm trying to get them toned and evened out to my regular skin color. So that's what's making me share my skin regimen with you guys for when my skin comes together and start looking bomb. Y'all wanna know exactly how we got like that. So I do have uh face scrub i ordered this off of amazon and it comes it has like three settings no I'm, i lied it's two okay one two it gets a little faster and i use to with my scrubber i use this set of film or removing foam because my skin i don't know who else in this world is like me but my skin is the most oiliest i've ever it gets so oily by the end of the night i normally when i take my makeup off i'll use the cetaphil it's an oil removing foam wash and i would use this to scrub my face with my scrubber i would rinse that off and then to get my skin tone back even i use the saint ives acne control of the face scrub and i just scrub it mm, i feel so good afterwards and to moisturize i use the cetaphil lotion but i i swip swap i don't use both this and i also use this coconut radiant i don't use both at the same time i will be out here looking like a glazed donut so no i don't use both at the same time either one day i'm going to use the lotion or one day i'm going to use the oil either or so let's get started. I'm going to show you the 10 products that I'm going to be using. I have my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color 430. I have my Full Wear, con this is um, Contour, it is L'Oreal. I have my Morphe Pressing Powder. I have a blush, I believe this was from MAC. It's so dirty, I can't even see. Okay, it's called Raisin, it's from MAC, my blush. I have my mascara, this is awesome. This is Maybelline. It's a less sensational, full fan effect, and it's also waterproof, so I don't put a whole lot, because it gets hard, really hard. And I have my foundation, this is from Fit Me Maybelline, and it's in the color 360 Mocha. An eyebrow pencil, another concealer because I'm not sure which one. This is from Morphe. I'm not sure which one I really want to use, so I had to put two in there. One is lighter than the other. My Morphe is way lighter than my Fenty. Sometimes I like to mix. I like to blend them together to get the exact look I'm going for. So I just put both of them in there. And this is in the color. Ooh, Morphe. Did it even have? It might have came on the box. So I don't have the color, but. I'm going to try to find it and put it in the description box. And I also have my 
highlight, that glow, that gets you popping. And I believe my 10th product is this gloss. I threw it in there because I don't see that. I already showed you guys nine. So my 10th product must have been this gloss, but I had put some on earlier. So let's get right into this video. I'm going to start with my eyebrows first. And I am also going to be speeding this up a little bit. So yeah, I'm not going to be showing y'all step by step, but you also can pay attention because it's not that hard on how I do my eyebrows. I have quarantine eyebrows right now. My eyebrows look a mess. So I'm going to try to do them as cute as possible because usually my eyebrows be popping, but they normally also be arched. So I'm gonna go in with my little dirty, <laughs> my little dirty toothbrush. <laughs> I use this toothbrush for everything. Let me tell you, I use this toothbrush for my edges. I use this toothbrush for my eyebrows. This is my handy dandy toothbrush, okay? So I'm gonna go in with my space don't know your name it ain't important babe because I'm gonna call you mine. My eyebrow pencil, this is a dark brown eyebrow pencil. Do not go get a light brown eyebrow pencil. And do not get black. I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all better not be doing no eyebrows with no black eyebrow pencil. Okay, so how I normally start my eyebrows, oh uh, start at the top and try to draw how I want my arch to be. And then I'm gonna start from the front. I'm gonna make them nice and long and full. I fill them in a little bit. And then I take my pencil and I'm going to brush them up at the beginning. Rap to you real quick. I want to enjoy the luxury of life and I know each other for real. Hold up. And I promise you, they're gonna look good after being concealed. Take me Teach you all the sounds of love. Flower bomb, let me guess your favorite fragrance, and you got that bomb. <laughs> I'm trying to detonate you, no disrespecting, baby. Just try and make you smile, try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lay it down, try to keep your spirits up. Little vodka, whatever, took it forever to get dressed. I acknowledge your effort, so I clap for it. She deserves first product down. I'm putting that back in my jar. I'm going in with my second product. I'm going to use my. Fenty Beauty Concealer and my first brush that I'm using is going to be my angle brush. This is a um, Morphe brush, M432. It's like a flat, flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna take my brush, I'm just going to swipe it over my concealer wand. And I always start here in the middle to basically bring that arch out. So, let me go in. And then we're going to come to mostly to the front. And you're going to use the top to make the arch, but you're going to use the whole brush to kind of like spray it down. You don't want that concealer just sitting right there. So I kind of like spread my concealer down. And don't forget to make that more defined in the beginning. Because that matters too. You want to take your time. You want to be very precise because the moment you go skirt, that's over. You're going to have to kind of redraw your eyebrow because it's going to have that concealer mix. And that is not cute. So I just go in. I blend all this out. And yeah. 
That's how I get the bottom look. You see the bottom? Uh-uh. And I know that was a little red guitar. They be the loudest ones. Let me teach you all the sounds of love. Okay, now for the top of my eyebrow, I already blended that in. For the top of my eyebrows, I don't have no concealer that is a little darker. Like, I think for the top of your eyebrow, it's best to use a concealer that is close to your skin color because you don't want it to look all light right here. And no, that's not cute. And then your foundation is just trying to cover over it. So I'm just going to use my foundation. Going in with my third product. I'm going to use my foundation at the top to kind of make it look clean at the top of my brow. You see how it looks more clean and more even with the, the foundation. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Put my foundation on the same version. I'm dragging it up. So now you got it. I'm going to go back in with my toothbrush and I'm just going to make sure my eyebrows are lit in the front. Not no boxing, no like natural <laughs> and here you have your quarantine bag. Mm. Mm. All right, this product. Well, I already went in with this product, but I'm going to go in with my brush. I mean, my sponge. Matter of fact, no, I'm going to use my brush and my foundation. I'm going to put my foundation on this table because I don't want it on my hand. I usually put it on my hand. But we're not doing that today. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just going to dab it in my face. Dab, dab, dab. Ooh. Dab it all now. And we way too young to know love. Maybe not, but we don't need no rush. Don't believe in love at first sight. But believe in love at first. <laughs> can I be with you just one night? I can wear you out inside. I can tell you like persistence. But I make you come and try. I just if you have a darker neck than your face, you might have to go in a little bit on your neck. Don't look crazy out here. I don't want to go in with my concealer again, but I'm going to actually go in with the more form because this one is probably going to, it's going to open it up more. And I'm going to add it all here just like a triangle. Rap to you real quick. I want to enjoy the luxury of like not knowing each other for real. Hold up. Lotus flower bomb, firefly. When I'm low, she take me high. I can teach you all the sounds of love.
flower bomb. Let me get your. So now I'm going in with my fifth product, which is my multi pressing powder, and I'm going to go in with this brush, and I'm going to press it into everywhere where I put my concealer. Whatever took it forever to get dressed. I acknowledge your effort, so I clap for she deserves an applause. Shotty working so hard, she deserves that baton. Shotty wear your baton, racing through my mind like she heard that I got that work. I heard that she been on strike. Care to tell? I read your mind. She been on them dollars first. Caramel macchiatos with Shotty get in the work. I can be a with my sixth product, which will be my contour. This goes a long way. You do not need a whole lot of this, okay? Please don't put a lot of this. You can just put a little tiny, tiny drop. Literally, let me show you. Like that, and that might still be too much. Just like that. Where else I put it? I can put a little bit on my forehead. Not too much, y'all. This stuff is very very dark you don't need a lot i'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and i'm just gonna blow Flower bomb, can I blow up on your mind? This is not no Sandra Bull, but your potion number nine. Navigating through her eyes, destination to her thighs. And I hate to tell you too much, cause I stay with too much pride. And we way too young to know love. Maybe not, but we don't need no rush. Don't believe in love at first sight. Go in with my blush. And this is Radiant. Let me Fluff it out, not too much. Mostly over top of where you put your contour. Just like that, it gives you that rosy effect. You guys warm your face up, open it up. Open it up. Open me up. Don't open me up. All right, so I'm put this, this is my six. Seven, eight, nine, yeah, my seven. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight. You can tell I love this highlight because it's hardly almost gone. And I'm going to use this on my cheekbone. Right here. Right there. You see that? product is going to be my mascara my lashes is not included in my products y'all better stop playing because i'm putting me on some lashes now i'm gonna go in with my lashes this was my ninth product if you watch my other video these are my lashes in summer from infinite beauty lashes are on in my summer now for the 10th product it's you need gloss, baby. You need gloss. And I love clear gloss. I really love clear gloss. I'm also going to spray my face with this setting mist from more. And you got that natural kind of look. See how natural it looks? Like, it's just like an everyday type of look. You can go to Walmart with this look. You can go to the mall with this look. You can go on a date with this look. You can go anywhere with a natural type of look. Now, I'm going to take my hair out and I'm going to come back and show you guys the finishing look. So, babies, this is the final look. I took my rods out. I'm feeling cute and flirty, ready to hit the town. If quarantine was not going on, I would be probably out in D.C. somewhere just living. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can definitely leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye. Until next time. Can I blow up on your mind? I can have this moment for life.